Hey, how are ya? Today we're gonna be doing another Q&A, but first, before we do it, my hair's feeling, feeling really overgrown. I haven't got a haircut in ages, and I just really feel like I need one. Like, right now, I'm not doing any more things until I get a haircut. I'm just gonna go get one now. Oh, yep, definitely got a haircut. Yep, okay, just checking. Why do I even think that'd be funny? <laughs> anyway, today's gonna be a Q&A, so I put on my Instagram story, by the way, my Instagram's at 7 Theory. If you're not following it, you should, because it's where I post all my photos. So I put on my Instagram story asking you guys to ask me some questions, and today I'm gonna be answering them. So if this is the first time you've seen me talking to you, my name's Liam, and I'm a photographer based in Melbourne, Australia, and I do videos on YouTube teaching you how to take photos and just improve your photography game. So if you're just starting out in photography or you just have a passion for photography, maybe consider subscribing to my channel because it might help you out with your photography. Anyways, enough of me talking. Let's just get started. All right. First question, will you ever come to New Zealand? Yeah, I've already been to New Zealand, but I wanna go again on like a proper photography trip because last time I went, it was more of a holiday. Suggestions for decent day trip locations in Victoria. A good one that I'd suggest is Warburton Redwoods. It's where I got this photo here. There's just heaps of trees everywhere and it makes for really good photos. All right, what do you like most about photography? Um. What do I like most about photography? Probably the fact that you can make an average location or just something that someone would see as normal and you can turn that into something really cool by taking a photo of it and editing it in a certain way. Also just the creativity side of it, just being able to go out, take a photo of anything you want and making it look cool. Do you prefer to shoot in the winter or the summer and why? I love shooting rainy days and so that's, that's more of winter, but where I'm from in Melbourne, the weather is constantly changing. Anyone who lives here knows that in summer it could be just a huge thunderstorm even it's, and it'll still be hot, but it'll just be a thunderstorm. It's really weird. The thing I like about winter is it creates this sort of moody vibe and you can get street photos like this one here, which is the ones that I really like. And summer's just hot. Like when it's in summer, it's just too hot. I can't think, I can't concentrate. And the lighting's really harsh. So I'd have to say winter. When are you going to visit India? I don't know, to be honest. I really do want to go because it looks awesome for photos, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think is the best picture you've ever made? All right, this is a tricky one because I don't sort of like to look back at my photos. I like to keep moving forward as sort of cheesy as that sounds, like I don't look in the past. But with photography, you're always gonna get better if you just consistently go out and shoot every single day. So I wouldn't really say that I have a favorite photo, but one of the more recent photos that I've taken that I've liked is probably this one. It's probably this photo here of a tram. The thing that I like about this shot is that you have the ambulance in the background, which has this huge blue light which contrasts really well with the orange light in the tram. You got those two contrasting colors. Where do you get your music from? I get my music from a website called Epidemic Sound and they just do really cool songs and you can sort of browse a genre and all that sort of stuff. All right, this next one's a really good one. What makes you want to shoot every day? So there's a couple things. I'll start off with the first one, which is a pretty simple one. It's my friends, Mike, Hayden and Lamont and my other photography mates who I always go out and shoot with. We're constantly bouncing ideas off of each other and just inspiring each other, motivating each other to get out and shoot. Sony, Nikon, or Canon? Hmm, Sony. How exactly do you approach clients professionally? Just the same way as you'd treat anyone else. Like, treat them with respect, treat them nicely, speak properly to them. Don't use slang in any of your emails. That's probably the worst thing you could do. And just be upfront with them. Make sure you know exactly what they want. But really, it's just about experience. The more times you deal with clients, the better you are gonna be at dealing with clients. G'day, mate. Just wondering which camera and lens do you use? I freaking love your photos, mate, mate. First of all, I think you've overused the word mate, but the camera that I use and that I'm filming this video on is the Sony A7R Mark II. And the lenses that I use are the Sigma 35mm 1.4, which I just bought, the Sony 24-70, and the Sony 70-200. What is your biggest fear? I don't really have a biggest fear, but something that I'm always conscious about is the fact that you don't know how long you have left on Earth. So just using your time productively and not wasting any time and just doing what you gotta do sort of thing. Because you really don't know, like you could die tomorrow, like as sad as that sounds you could and you don't know so so i guess my biggest fear is doing something that i hate just to like make money or just to please someone else all right next question was it hard finding a style of photography yeah like it was and the reason why it was hard is because i was overthinking it your style isn't something that you have to find or that you're going to find in a certain way. There's no sort of like rules of how you find your style. You don't go like searching in the forest or some shit and then you go find your style. I don't know, I'm working on my analogies. The way you're gonna find your style is just by keeping on creating photos. Always go out and take photos as much as you can and the style will come. Trust me, I know everyone says this, your style will find you naturally. Like it, it just does. Just play around with photography. Don't take it too seriously. Have fun with it 
and I promise you, your style will come. At the start of your photography career, what did you do to make money? All right, this is a really simple one and anyone can do it, event photography. There's birthday parties every single weekend and they all need photographers, so you can be that photographer. Start off by taking photos at a party, like someone you know, like a friend or something like that, and just build your way up from there. But yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something as always. If you have any other questions about photography, feel free to send me a message on Instagram, at 7th Era, and I'll try and answer it for you. And as always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Fuck.